We have a very special visitor today. Rachel rescued this little brush tail possum last night. What happened, Rachel? Um, I found Mum dead under power lines, so I think Mum might have been electrocuted. Mm. And Bubby was still very much alive in her pouch. Oh, dear little soul. How old do you think she might be? Oh, I'm not sure. Not a possum person? No, I'm not a possum person. I will rescue them, but she's going to a specialised carer today. Look at those little hands. She did little thing. Big hands. Are you hungry? Yeah, so she's you just about to have a feed. So unfortunately, just like bats, possums get electrocuted on overhead power lines. Um, so they touch two lines and create a circuit and that's what happens. And, and like bats, um, is it a fairly high success rate for the babies that don't get Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, she'll be in care for a long time. Yeah. Um, Look at that tail. That prehensile that tail. tail. Isn't it lovely? So much musculature in that tail. Yeah, lovely. Are you hiding? So very, very common in Australia, the brush tails and the ring tail possums. Yeah, so in the wild these guys live in hollows, but a lot of time in um, urban areas they'll live in people's roofs. Mm. Gallop across people's roofs. <laughs> yes, they do gallop across <laughs> people's roofs. They sound like baby elephants. They do. We've got a metal tile roof and um, it does sound like a herd of elephants when they're chasing each other. Um, we we've nicknamed this one Beans. Oh, dear little thing. I think she looks more like Dobby with her ears, <laughs> though. Yes. Right, you just got to grow into them. Yeah. No, so she'll have a good future. She'll go to yeah. care of possum care and um, very high success rates with um, baby possums. So I think the biggest problem is getting them released, isn't it, now? Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but anyway. Oh, look at those little feet. She's hiding. Yeah. She's you done. Go back in your little pouch. She's okay. done. Good girl. Oh. Go and get your bottle for you. 